It happened this past week, the loss of three Americans who made their marks in very different ways. Donna Douglas died Thursday in Baton Rouge of pancreatic cancer. A small town Louisiana native, Douglas hit the big time in 1962 as Ellie Mae Clampett on the CBS sitcom The Beverly Hillbillies. You see, Pop? I told you dresses wasn't no good for climbing trees or chasing that bear across Miss Drosdale's roof. After the show ended its nine-season run in 1971, she went on to record a number of gospel and country albums. Donna Douglas was 82. A tater-eating country boy. At just four foot 11, little Jimmy Dickens was nonetheless one of the Grand Ole Opry's biggest stars. May the bird of paradise fly up your nose. A singer-songwriter with a comic touch, he last performed at the Opry three Saturdays ago. And died Friday after suffering a stroke on Christmas Day. Little Jimmy Dickens was 94. There is despair, Mr. President, in the faces that you don't see, in the places that you don't visit, in your shining city. New York Governor Mario Cuomo electrified the 1984 Democratic Convention with his attack on the policies of President Ronald Reagan. How can anyone say that we are safer, stronger, or better? Born to immigrant parents in the New York City borough of Queens, Cuomo grew up to become a lawyer and politician, winning his first term as governor in 1982. We'll go broke because we don't have health insurance. A liberal without apology. Why haven't you announced yet? He disappointed his supporters by declining to run for president. You're the strongest Democrat right now. Both 1988 and 1992. It would be in the best interest of the Democratic Party that I abandon any such effort now. And though he lost his bid for a fourth term as governor in 1994, the Cuomo era in New York is hardly over. Just two months ago, Cuomo's son, Andrew, was re-elected governor. My father's not with us today. We... Thursday, New Year's Day, the day of Andrew's second inaugural, Mario Cuomo died of heart failure. He was 82 years old. 